Hi there, this is Joni, holistic health teacher and guide. My father is currently experiencing Alzheimer's. My sister also had dementia. So today's topic is near and dear, and I'd like to support more people in preventing these diseases in any way I can. It's to be noted that not everyone with dementia has Alzheimer's, but Alzheimer's is the most common type of dementia. My intention with these new channels is to serve anyone seeking support at this time. My aim is to bring you digestible snippets of holistic habits to improve your health and well-being. We need your clear mind, healthy body, open heart, and bright eyes now more than ever. Today, the number of Americans suffering from Alzheimer's is astronomical. Around 6 million people are living with Alzheimer's. Sourced last week from the organization Blue Zones, they state that every 64 seconds, someone new is diagnosed, and that they believe this number is an underestimation. This is downright alarming. It's also reported that two-thirds of these individuals are women. Dementia is also our costliest disease, and the Alzheimer's Association recently admitted that up to 60% of dementia is actually avoidable. How? in my opinion, by taking our health into our own hands. One of the credos of this channel is that Superman is not coming to save anyone. And while our holistic health is our birthright, it's clearly up to us to shift it for the better. And while it's important to understand the science behind this, so many of us are beyond busy in our daily lives and just need to know what to do. With the areas we must be vigilant about in order to thrive, versus remaining in a state of damage control, which ultimately is not even sustainable. Regarding Alzheimer's and dementia, the areas we need to really, really drill down on are as follows. The foods we choose every day, at every meal. The water we consume, how much, and the quality of the water. Movement, linear and nonlinear movement, exercise, as well as how and how much we naturally move throughout every single day. How we manage stress, which is the largest contributor to so much disease and dis-ease that we're experiencing in this modern world. How we find purpose in our lives, our sleeping patterns, as well as all other activities we choose to keep our minds sharp. If you're new to this journey, and even if you're not, a great reference for starters is the Holistic Health Introductory Playlist on this channel, which I'll link below. That playlist covers all the major categories to keep our holistic health, that's our whole health, physical, mental, emotional, <laughs> and beyond, not only intact, but on the way to thriving. When we look at your whole health, we can pinpoint the areas most in need of a little bump up and start there. Most of the time, when we upgrade one area, the other areas actually naturally follow suit. As for Alzheimer's specifically, but really for our health in general, it's been proven time and time again that plants are the way forward, preferably unprocessed plants. For the body and the brain, add more of these. Cruciferous vegetables, dark leafy greens, berries, especially the darker berries, such as wild blueberries, beans of all kinds, whole grains, but not in excess, nuts, smaller qualities are best, just like a little handful, and skip the peanuts if you can. Seeds, herbs, spices, and one of my favorite daily habits, quality teas, which is also an easy way to add more herbal remedies to your life. Equally, if not more important, is totally avoiding processed foods. I like to say anything wrapped in plastic or cardboard to keep it simple. That's much easier to remember, right? They're also always higher in salt, sugar, saturated and trans fats versus the healthy fats we want and refined carbohydrates. And let's not forget this includes all of those sugary drinks from the fancy latte at Starbucks to the sodas to the juice drinks for the kids. By eating this plant-based way, we not only ward off Alzheimer's, but many, many other debilitating, debilitating diseases. We also live in a more vibrant experience through and through that we won't forget as we age. 
Now, I'm right there with you and fully realize that this past year has proven to be far more difficult than ever to stay committed to this path. But the truth is, we will all fall off of the horse here and there. But if we can jump right back on the next day, we'll continue to ride and thrive. And if we can do so now during these crazy times, then imagine what life will look like once we're back to the future or whatever that will look like over the next couple years. Please message me with any questions. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video. That one small action simply helps more people to be informed in order to be well. Thank you for being here. Until next time, deep breaths and take one small action forward at a time. Thank you so much and see you later.